Hola, buenas, and welcome back to Mexico City. Or should I say, buenas noches, because it's Saturday night in Mexico City, and I'm beyond excited, as you can probably tell. So this weekend is Mexican Independence Weekend. The 16th of September every year is Independence Day for Mexico. Today's the 15th, but the celebrations start today. I'm just down the road from the Central Square, the Zocalo, which I cannot pronounce. I really apologize for that. Behind me is the queue, okay? The queue is massive. There's queues literally on every entrance to the Zocalo. It's really, it's, it's massive. It's energetic. The atmosphere is electric. It's totally awesome. If there's one video of mine that you watch about Mexico City just to prove that this city is absolutely awesome, this is the one. Once I get into the Zocalo, hopefully, I'll tell you a little bit about Independence Day and we'll see what festivities are happening. It's so exciting, let's go. It took about 45 minutes, I would say, to get through the queue. It's about 9 p.m. Just so you know, for future, get here early. Um, this whole thing is just ridiculous. I've never seen so many people in my life. The lights are exceptional. Um, I have no words. And um, the thing that really strikes me about this is just how patri oh, it's quiet. It's just how patriotic and proud of. Mexico Mexicans are and coming from the UK there isn't really anything like this um, you know except maybe a royal wedding that's about it but um, yeah it just really strikes me that so many people are here tonight celebrating independence is totally awesome there's not going to be much speaking in this video for obvious reasons the sound so I'll just show you some wonderful shots of the Zocalo on a Saturday night Independence Day lovely point out in terms of the locals everyone's getting into the spirit of things the festivities um, stereotypical mustaches sombreros Viva Mexico and um, traditional outfits which is really cool I really wanted to get some of this stuff before I came in but I thought there might be an opportunity to buy them in here but there isn't so unfortunately I don't have a mustache I might get one later So why is this such a big deal for Mexicans? I'll tell you why. So in 1810, the process to gain independence from Spain began. And this is also called El Grito, which is translated into English as the scream or the cry. And in a place called Dolores in Mexico, there was a Roman Catholic priest who signaled with his bell, like a cry in the church, in the early hours of the 16th to signal the beginning of the, I guess the revolt, that's a great word, against Spain. Um, so that's why the celebrations take over, take place over a couple of days, a Saturday, Sunday. I believe also that September is considered a whole month to represent the independence from Spain. Obviously it took longer than just, you know, overnight. 1821 was when Mexico finally regained independence of the country. And at midnight, or very close to midnight, I understand the president comes out onto the balcony of the palace. I'm really excited. I haven't seen a president before. Amazing! Viva la independencia nacional! Yeah! Viva Mexico! Yeah! Viva Mexico! Yeah! Viva Mexico! Yeah!
Viva Mexico! That was awesome! <laughs> I actually feel quite emotional because um, I was probably the only non-Mexican person there. Um, yeah, I think it's probably the only non-Mexican person there. I think it's probably the only non-Mexican person there. I think it's probably the only non-Mexican person in this gaggle of, of people. Yeah, so I felt like I was the only non-Mexican, but I felt very privileged to be there and to be able to experience that collective um, feeling of patriotism, basically. Totally awesome. I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> Those fireworks were immense. There's no other word I can use to describe it. Sorry about the red flashing of the police cars, <laughs> but I don't care anymore. Um, I, it was immense, I've got no words. Um, I hope you have enjoyed having a bit of an insight into what Independence Day looks like in Mexico. Um, the thing I will say about it as well is safety. Fantastic. You know, you go through various layers of security before you get in. My bag was checked so many times. Alcohol not allowed, although I did smell alcohol on people's breath. <laughs> it happens, but in comparison to other countries, including the UK, I think it was significantly safer. Absolutely awesome. Thanks for watching. There's tons more coming from Mexico. I need to go home because I'm exhausted. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you later.